Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here, and welcome to another part of the Q&A series. I still think there's like 81 pages left, so I'm doing my best to go through all these, and soon I'm going to do a family one, and then I'll do another series of questions once I get through these. And some of these are old, like since I've started this a while ago, but it's hard to go through all these. But I'm, I'm doing, my, like I said, I try and do every one of them. That I, can, I mean, every one. Um, what movie made MJ cry the most? Well, I think um, things like My Girl and stuff, I remember talking to him about saying how he cried the most. I will say that I'm seeing MJ in, um, on the 1st of March. And I am, so that is happening. So I can ask him that in the video, what movie made him cry the most. But I know I remember um, the... Uh, I remember, like, the most I ever see, saw him crying when I was with him in a movie was in um, 13 Going on 30. I remember looking at him after it was over, and he's like, I need a minute. And he was, like, totally crying. He had to go into the bathroom and, you know, cry it, cry it out for a couple minutes afterwards. I don't know. And I, I remember the, the one movie that really upset me was the um, hijacked plane movie, Flight... I can't remember the name, Flight something, but that was so depressing. I was... Terror. I, I don't like watching those extremely sad movies. It's like, it's, there's nothing to get out of that except depressed. Um, since you've been answering questions very honestly, it seems, in the video where MJ stole your camera and you two got in a huge fight, was that staged or real? Also, why did MJ find it so necessary to lie so much? I mean, I loved all the videos and I'm a huge fan, but never really understood the point of lying about your name and stuff. Anyway, good luck. The other part says Christmas, but it's past that. Um, well, the, the thing that the video you're, that he's talking about is the um, prom night one, going to see prom night slash the huge fight. One of the around the towns, if you want to look at it. And the idea we had was there's supposed to be me coming out, and we only scripted out one or two things. And a lot of people thought a lot of our vlogs were scripted. It wasn't really, they weren't scripted. We, we never write anything down. We, we improvise a lot and just say silly stuff, but... There was never really any scripting. It was just kind of the way we are. We're just peculiar sometimes. Um, and we just have peculiar humor. But um, in that specific video, we were like, here's the idea. Um, MJ I said, listen, um, we were both talking about it. I come, at, come, you know, he comes to the car, and then I say, I finally got you coming out of your house. Because the, the joke was he didn't want to be seen from coming out of the house. And I don't think he did want to be seen coming out of the house uh, it, at first, and then he didn't care. But... Um, and we were like, what we should do is I start filming you, then you get angry, take the camera away. And that was the only idea. And then I said, we're just going to get mad at each other after that. So basically, I just, you know, basically you have to use things to get to that level. You have to think of things that are bug bugging you. At that point, the job really sucked. And I was really unhappy having to work that. So I just used that and put it into that. And same, same with what he did. And... It was just acting. It really, it really wasn't even afterwards we said it was acting. But a lot of people didn't think, you know, thought we were lying about that. But we wouldn't lie. It's what I would consider demo reel material. I was happy with it. Um, the other one was, the other part was, did, um, why did MJ lie about his name? He didn't really lie about his name. He wanted to be called MJ. He wanted to be called MJ at the frat, and his name was uh, Matthew James Kelly, so it was just his initials. He just liked being called MJ. It wasn't like a Michael Jackson kind of thing or anything. He just liked to um, be called that. Um, so, have you ever seen the movie Bonjour Timmy? It is not French, yet it's from New Zealand. Check out the trail on YouTube. I have not seen that one. But the other thing with MJ that people keep asking me about is who he lives with and stuff. Now he lives with his girlfriend. Um, but a lot of people go on about that, like lives with his parents and stuff. And he doesn't, if he lived with anybody, he lived with his mom. But first of all, the thing is, some things are private. You know, not everything, people want to talk about every detail. I know I do um, talk about everything, but not everybody wants to do that. And, uh, and a lot of people can be private about stuff. And you know, sometimes I regret talking about every little detail in my life. Everyone knows everything, but it doesn't really bug me that much. Um, but I, MG doesn't want to talk about everything. So I, and that's understandable. Uh, please answer my question. Would you rather be a successful actor or director? What happens if you don't break within the next 10 years? Well, I've been doing pretty well in the, in the horror field and, and getting offers and things like that all the time. I'm not going out to be like a huge star. That's not what I want to do. I'd like to be a character actor. I'd like to do some character actor parts in some Hollywood films, but not. I'm not going to be... Like, uh, you know, Seth Rogen. 
doesn't matter to me if that happened and it happened, but that's not my goal. My goal is to just be able to keep working. Um, and I'd rather be an actor. I, I, I'm going to direct something soon coming up, which is going to be pretty pretty decent, filming on the red, red camera. It's ways off from being able to talk about it, but it's in development. Um, some The guy who did Slaughter Weekend is going to be producing it and helping direct it with me. And it's basically a remake of Lust for Blood that I made before, which was short, but it's totally rewritten and different. Um, but at some point, it, it'll be happening. I, don't, I just don't know when. I'm thinking... Um, May. Um, hey Sean, love the videos. Been a watcher since 08. Have you seen Bad Taste, one of Peter Jackson's first movies? If so, what do you think about it? Keep it up with the video and acting career, Quaid. Um, I have seen Bad Taste. I haven't watched it though for a long time. Have you ever received any formal acting training? Um, I did have a class or two, but I don't know, I, it was never really my thing. I don't, I, I kind of just like doing it. Like some people um, can just jump into doing it. A lot of like the, so you should be surprised how many actors didn't do anything like that. Um, it also seems like real serious and I, I've never had a problem with, you know, turning on and off the character and things like that. Some people have that. I've always been doing fine without that. I mean, at some point, but I'm not gonna lie, I have absolutely no interest in doing that. Um, hey Sean, how will you make room for all the DVDs when you run out of space in the DVD room? Also, given the availability of movies online, do you find opting to watching via the internet or purchasing the movie? Um, what I've been doing though is, um, you know, getting rid of the duplicate. So if I have a duplicate of something that I got on a Blu-ray, I get rid of the DVD. And, um, and if, you know, I get something that I really dislike, I get rid of it. I don't hoard it like I used to do and just keep it even if I didn't like it. If I don't like it, I only have like 10 of them that I don't want um, that are duplicates and stuff so far, but if I really don't like something, I just get rid of it. So I'm really working to not run out of space in there because um, I, I think that's enough in that room. But I, I, I do watch some things on Netflix like documentaries and things like that, but I still do really like to buy the stuff. I don't know. Um, I know it's all switching that way. And, you know, I, I do like that. I think that's an interesting way of watching things. But with certain movies, like with horror movies and TV shows and stuff, you know, it makes more sense to buy it. Because, you know, if it's a classic show you love and you want to have it, you don't want it to be on Netflix and then be taken off of there in a year when you want to rewatch it. Because there's some things I get that I don't watch right away. You know what I mean? Um, if you become rich for, by being in movies in the future, what kind of... If you don't become rich in, by being in movies in the future, what kind of job you have? Nothing else. That's, this is the only plan I've got. So that's, luckily enough, it's been all going fine, but that's really the only interest I've got. I mean, I can always fall back on directing things. And I, know, and I have so many connections, I know I can make things work in that field, too. So I, I love being busy. That's the thing with me. But I don't want to be busy working at uh, the movie theaters anymore or things like that. I need to be busy doing things... Because I am 25 now. I need to be doing the things in this field. And, and I really decided that. Um, do you like the band Primus? The, th the best three-man band ever? I do like Primus. Um, so you've gone through a lot of changes this year. Do you miss living in Maryland or do you like living in Cali better? Also, how do you feel about your channel now that MJ's gone? Do you miss the way things were or do you like the way the channel is now? I, I like the things I've been doing with my family. I think they're they're funny. I think people really have been enjoying them. Um, and it's not too much different because the thing is, and this is totally serious, if I lived in Maryland right now, we would not be able to do vlogs like we once did. It just would not happen. Um, you know, MJ has a, a full-time girlfriend now, and I understand that. And when he's in something like that, if he's in a relationship or in a fraternity, he, it's very difficult for us to do stuff like that. And, you know, he also works Fridays now at the job he's at. So it wouldn't be the same, if I, even if I was there. And I just don't have any interest in going and living there again. But I'm seeing MJ again. We're going to shoot some vlogs as much as I can get. Hopefully it'll be enough to make two or three different videos. Uh, put one up and wait a, you know, a couple weeks and put up the other one. Or I'll just figure out how people want me to do it. Because that those videos will be what there is for a while. There won't be another one for quite a while. Because I don't see myself being able to get back there again. 
And I'm only able to do it this time because I'm going to be there to do a movie with him called Mary Horror. So that's the only reason why I'm doing this. I'm not paying to go out there. I'm getting flown out there. Um, so I'm, that, that's really exciting that it works out that way. Um, and I, I do like um, California a lot better. There's not, you know, I don't miss the snow. I don't miss having to deal with that. Um, and it was just, I've done everything so much in Maryland. It was just, just getting kind of tired of it. I miss people there. But that's about it. Um, how do you feel about Hollywood constantly doing remakes? If so, have they lost their originality? Um, I, I don't know how... I've, I've talked about that before in some of the other videos. It's... Um, and I said the main reason they're doing that is because they know they have a built-in audience with the originals. So I understand why they're doing it. And I usually watch them. And so that's the thing. Even if people are mad about them doing the remake, they usually half of the time, if not more, end up seeing it to see what they've done with the thing. So, you know, I would, I do understand that. So, I mean, I don't have a... Um, and the thing is, too, it also can bring more attention to the original. Um, what is your favorite Friday the 13th movie? Um, I mean, the first one's always, I think, one of the best. And I also like the one with him in the boat. I think Manhattan wasn't a perfect movie, but it was a good one. Um, I think... That there was a couple, I don't remember what the other one was, but I've liked all of them. I didn't like the second one too much. Yo, yo, Sean, love your videos. Very entertaining. Other than movies or movie figures, um, what else do you collect? And where do you see yourself in five years? Can you give me a shout-out? Plus, drools, if you can say it right. Um, that's pretty much the only thing I get. I try and find posters sometimes, but usually just movies and toys and stuff. I don't really have any other interest in that or anything else. Um, five years I just see myself still doing acting and things like that and by then you know I will have done some of the bigger ones too that I have in the works so who knows what way that will go for that point but I pretty much see myself doing the same stuff um, if YouTube is still around then you know I hope it will be I will probably still be doing stuff on here um, who knows if it will be as much or, or who, know, who knows but I, I always see myself having a doing things with a web presence. I, I like doing things on the internet. I like shooting videos. I like putting status stuff on Facebook. So I always see myself doing that kind of stuff. You know, by then I think if the second Facebook page would be filled up. I hate that that limit on those things. And the fan page isn't the same. It's fine, but you can't update it as well. It's just not. I don't like it as much as the real one. Um, have you ever seen the movie Spirited Away? I have seen that one. I think I talked about that one of the other ones. Have you seen the movie Stay Cool with Chevy Chase, Winona Ryder, and Hilary Duff? I don't know. I know. I haven't seen that. Are you working with synthetic cinema anymore? I think that means synthetic cinema. Hopefully on their next movie. Um, who's your favorite Beto? Where are you 9-11? Who is your favorite Beatle? Um, try John Lennon or Price. So I would say, um, where were you in 9 11? I was in um, was it 10th grade, I think. 9th or 10th grade, I remember in the cafeteria when I heard about it because they were playing the stuff on the TV and then we went home afterwards. So I always remember that. Um, why don't you just use all the unanswered questions from the last QA? I think I answered all of them the last QA. If it was one of the ones with MJ, I think we answered all of those. But the, they broke on the old laptop, so I don't think anyone will ever see them. Um, at some point, if I can ever figure out how to get the stuff off of there, but the picture doesn't come on on that. And I don't like dealing with Apple trying to fix all that stuff. It's just a pain. Out of all the celebrities you met, who's the biggest butt duke and who was the nicest? I always I say for nice, I always say Ken Free is really nice. Sid Haig was always nice. Um, so people like that are always some of the nicest ones. Um, I don't know who was one of the rudest or anything like that. I mean, I'm thinking of somebody, but I'm, I'm, I'm not burning any bridges. It's too weird to say. You can't really say that when you're in this business, who you would think you don't like the most. Um, have you ever taken a painful shit? Um, I think we've all taken, you know, shit you can't squeeze out, at, well, at least once in our life. Um, what is your favorite guilty pleasure movies? Um, have you seen... i just got to stop fucking with this pen. Um, have you seen Walt Disney's Dark Beautiful Return to Oz? I have seen that. 
guilty pleasures. I don't know. A lot of the things that I consider guilty pleasures that people would say are guilty pleasures, I consider good movies. So I don't know. Do you believe in movies being perfect, such as The Godfather? Well, I know it's just crazy to say I've never sat through that. I've never watched it. I don't really like mafia movies. I don't like that. Say hello to my little friend. I just don't like that stuff. I, know, I can never sit through that. And there's a lot of people I've talked to that are the same. The thing is, I have a feeling that it really is a really good movie. And I know this. It's just, I just don't want to watch it. I don't know why, but I just don't. Um, have you ever seen The Princess Bride? It's probably my just my favorite movie ever. Just wanted you to know. Thought it may be a review. And what do you think of the Monty Python movies? The one I like the Monty Python the most is the uh, Meaning of Life. I always love that Every Sperm is Sacred song. And um, that was one of the best things in the movie. Um, and I, I th I'm pretty sure I watched The Princess Bride. It's weird. It's like I didn't see a thing as a kid when it was older. Sometimes I, I, I never see it. I don't know why. What is your favorite hacker movie? I don't know any other movies besides Hacker and I think Chain Reaction that are hacker movies. I don't know. I don't know what some of the other ones are. Um, Brain Scan wasn't really a hacker. I don't know. Um, hey, Sean, big fan of you guys. I only have two questions. What are your thoughts on Legendary Pictures' upcoming Godzilla movie? What do you think is the best, worst movie? Um, I don't know a lot about the Godzilla one. Um, a lot of people say Troll 2 is the best worst movie. I thought Troll 2 Tr Tr was just a fine movie to begin with. But um, I don't know best, worst movie. I don't know. I, I really don't. I guess I have to say Troll 2, but I think it's a good movie, though. Um, I've been following you for a few months now. I'm impressed with the amount of hard work you put into your career so far. Have you ever seen Lucy Felucci's House for the Cemetery? I have seen that, but I don't think I sat through it because I bought a really bad um, DVD copy of it. One of those ones from that kind of cheap company. I don't think it's around anymore. It might even Diamond something. It's like those clear cases with that. It was kind of weird, but I think it had really bad pictures, so I didn't sit through it. I need to see that, though. When you lived in Maryland, did you ever make a trip to Red Bank, New Jersey, to see Jan Son Bob's Secret Stash? Quick stop. I never have um, seen that. I do at the store. I did see this, you know, the thing they, the stuff they brought to Comic Con every year, which I am planning to be at Comic Con. You know, luckily my dad can get those professional tickets, and I know I can too. I just I don't know how to sign up. I'll try and deal with it for next year, but um, so I will be there. I'm so really glad. I'm not I'm not taking any film work or anything during those four days. I really was missed, like sucked so bad that I missed it last year. It's like I, I, it's one of those things that I just love going to. I know people think it's a nerdy thing. I just like it. Um, but I never did go to the actual store. Um, P.S. I trashed a couple people on your IMBD message board. Just letting you know. Um, well, thank you. Yeah, some people go on the IMBD page of mine and like, say stupid stuff. What was the best So Bad, bad It's Good movie? That's, I, that's a hard one. I would need to look through everything to figure that out. On a movie you showed us where you buy your movies in the part you showed on line list, you recited most of them by a few of them was a porno, wasn't it? That wasn't a porno. Was that? I think it was that document. Well, it might not be. I don't know. I think it was the school report or something. Would you ever do nude scenes in any of your movies? I wouldn't show peen, but I've already had to show, you know, topless. And zombie babies. I didn't even really want to want to do that top of stuff, but I just did it. <laughs> I used to I used to do that kind of stuff in the Don Murphy videos. I took most of them down, like you know, shirt off and stuff. But you know, if you're fat, you're fat, and I, it doesn't really bug me. But it's awkward. It can be very awkward. But you know, it was a sexy with Ruby Roker. Ruby Roker was topless. I was topless. It was just like whatever. People are gonna make all kinds of talk about it, but it, it doesn't matter. People be like, oh, well, Sean would do that too. So. I guess it's another plus. Um, would you ever... Sorry, I did say that. Which movie, John, would you hate to play in? There's not really any that I would really dislike. I, like, I desperately want to do um, drama and stuff. I really want to do serious, like, really serious stuff. Um, what movie made you cry and be honest? Um, I truthfully like My Girl and <laughs> things like that. Um, I don't know. Some of the other really big... I know... Um, the 
name of that bicentennial man. And that one is so depressing, you cry through that the whole movie. That movie is like a cry fest from beginning to end. Um, can you talk some about some Godzilla movies? The only Godzilla movies I remember watching was the one where he had the son, son of Godzilla. And I used to watch a lot of them as a kid, but I have not seen any of the new ones. If you had to choose to play a vampire or zombie or werewolf movie, which would you pick and why? Um, I was going to do, be doing a werewolf one with Synthetic Cinema, that didn't, didn't end up happening. Um, I think I did a, I filmed a werewolf one with MJ, like a short. Um, or was something that, like The Lost Boys or certain type of vampire movies. Um, either one would be cool to do. The vampire had AIDS and the vampire bites. I think the person gets AIDS as well. I guess he, I guess they would. Is acting hard, is it fun, or is it mostly business? Do you get paid well for the amount of work and effort put in? Is acting a job all about knowing people or actually having talent? Um, acting can be difficult. I mean, it, it depends. Um, luckily enough, I found tricks on like, remembering the lines, but the hardest is when you have to do a scene with somebody else and you haven't been able to practice with them or get to know the person, and that can be the most difficult. But if you have chemistry or get along well with the people, it's easier to do. That's what I can, I've always kind of noticed. Um, and it's definitely what I would consider a job, um, which is a job that I like doing, one of the few jobs I do like doing. Um, it's a, a mix of things. It's all about, you, you can know everybody, but if you don't have any talent, they're not going to put you in anything. So it's about knowing people, which is definitely the key to it, and um, knowing how to network, um, knowing how to get yourself out there and all that kind of stuff, as well as the talent. Who's the gatekeeper? Keeper. Lewis Tully. Are you the key master? No. Hey, Sean, have you ever seen the film The Boat That Rocked, 500 Days of Summer? What did you think of them? Also, if you could play one person in any film, who do you think you could have played best? Big fan over here in England. I think, like, when I'm older, I could play, like, a... I mean, I don't know, like, Chris Farley. I can do that kind of stuff. Somebody like that would be amazing to play. I don't think I... I would really warrant being cast as something like that, but it would be amazing to play somebody like Chris Farley in like a biopic or someone like John Candy when I'm older. But you know, like I said, I wouldn't warrant that, but that would be something I would consider to be amazing. Um, I don't think I've seen either either of those films. Have you or whatever you would you ever consider joining a sketch group? Um, I've never done like that kind of thing. It would be interesting. I've never really done that up on stage with people saying I don't know how I would do with that I use I have a lot of anxiety you know around a lot of people I'm very much like that guy you know in that in any the broad show I feel like I, I, I have that same kind of view of things that he does sometimes I don't know I guess it's, I'm a nut but um, I don't know I, I would do that if you have a shitty day what band could come on your radio and instantly cheer you up like anything really positive in the 80s and stuff like that, really positive music, I would say. Do you enjoy any improv games? If so, do you know? And can you share some with us? I don't really know any of that stuff. I've never, um, like, I'm really good at improvising. Like, the Don and Murph show, all those were improvised. We just have a little idea. Like, the things on the desk, that's all fully improvised. Um, a lot of the stuff in the Bigfoot, the Sasquatch movie we did, we did one, take her to their way, and then we improvised a lot of stuff. So a lot of the stuff they used was improvised. Just like um, all the stuff of us going up to people and that was all improvised. Have you seen the Human Centipede first sequence and what did you think of it? I thought the movie was messed up. I thought it was good. I did. I, I really did. Ha Sean, I see you have traveled to many parts of the U.S. Have you been your travel that were taking you overseas? Could you give a shout out to my friend Frank Garrett and Duncan C Construction? He is a big fan of yours. Thanks, you with the big work. Well, I am um, planning on doing a movie in England. Um, whenever it shoots, I don't know exactly. But that's pretty exciting. It's going to be a, a horror movie in England that they asked me to do. So I'm not sure if it's going to be this summer or it's going to be a little ways off. But um, that's pretty cool. I don't, I don't think I can say the name of which one it is yet, but that is happening whenever it happens. I'm not sure yet, though. Um, would you ever act in a movie for no pay? Even if they had travel, if you had to travel to another state, I would consider it if, um, as long as they were covering 
the travel and things like that and, and like the hotel and all that stuff was covered and they paid you something per day for what you spent on food and stuff. Um, Sean, what is your favorite board game? Do you play obscure board games such as Zombies or Arkham Horror? Um, I haven't played a board game in a long time. Like, the last board game I played was like Monopoly Junior. And I used to always like that as a kid. And like, um, the one I never could figure out was that shoots and not shoots and ladders, the um, mouse trap. That thing always got broken. I could never figure out how to set it up. Uh, but I don't really play any. I haven't played that in a long time. I used to love the Oregon Trail, but that wasn't a board game. Like, I would desperately like to play the classic Oregon Trail in this Mac, but you really can't do that. My question is, you never really talk about such movies considered as masterpiece cinema. It has, has movies by Stanley Kubrick, Francis Ford Coppola, Igor Bergman, Spielberg. Why is that? Um, I talk about some of them, like The Shining, and I watch Steven Spielberg movies, and I've seen The Virgin Spring and stuff. I just... The thing with me with, with my videos is... I kind of use the DVD updates and things like that to introduce people to different movies. And I always kind of feel weird reviewing a really well-known thing. I like to talk about something people might not know about as much, that may not have been talked about as much. I, I, those are my favorite things to, to review and talk about because I introduce people to different stuff that they might not have seen. So that's my main goal is just to tell people about different stuff. Um, I found your channel while searching for classic horror movies. I've been following you for following you for a few months now, and I wanted to ask: Do you watch much TV these days? I know primarily television has gone to shit in the past decade, but I think there are still a few good things. My favorite show recently is Dead Walking. Um, the season finale has a few weeks ago. Have you had a chance to check out the series? I'm gonna get the the Blu-ray of that to see it. I haven't gotten to see it. I think it's The Walking Dead, or it might be called that in another country. But I have not seen the show. Um, but I do watch a lot of TV. I watch, like I said before, a couple times. You know, Star Wars, Storage Wars, Auction Kings, um, Pawn Stars. Um, you know, American Pickers. I watch all those kind of shows. For some reason, I really like those things. I don't know. I've I I found a series of type a type of shows that I really like. I like shows about antiques and and there are, and things like that. And they're way more interesting than Antiques Roadshow, which is sometimes a serious bore fest. Sometimes if I watch that Antiques Roadshow, it puts me to sleep. I'm like it's really boring. Um, what films have you watched that are so bad? You're strangely entertaining. Everyone's asking that this time. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I, I know, I know. There's a lot of them though. So I was wondering if you could meet, if you ever met Bam Margera, if you could pronounce my YouTube name, Picto82. Well, I saw, I've met Bam a couple different times, um, at the one of the Bam tours and stuff. And then one time, I was at the Bloodhound Gang thing. He came to meet me and MJ. And Joe Franz got so drunk we had to leave. So we didn't get to meet Bam when Bam came to see me and MJ. It was one of the main reasons he was there, because he knew we were there, and I think he wanted to be in the video from what from what I heard later on. What are you gonna do? Um, but yes, yeah, so that's what happened with that. Do you ever watch the videos by James Rofey, um, the Angry Video Game Nerd? I do, I really like his stuff. What is your favorite band? Part of Sasquatch Assault. I really like the part when Sasquatch throwing rocks and stuff with the one guy, the, the girl's boyfriend. What do you think of Godzilla? Um, like I said, I haven't watched Godzilla in a while. Um, favorite part of Sasquatch Assault. Um, what's called Assault of the Sasquatch now? Probably, like... Because I wasn't there for the filming of anything but our stuff. And I, the most fun thing to me to do was the stuff at the dumpster. That was really exciting to do like and what's funny is people didn't know we didn't actually intend on doing that as Don and Murph like really wild and stuff we originally were doing it serious but then they wanted us to do it you know, over the top but that was be one I liked a lot also do you like quiche I know Ernest says real men don't eat quiche but I, I've had no problems with quiche um, I guess that's all for this um, Q&A video so I'll do the next how many pages are left 60 pages so I got through 20 something well, thanks a lot for watching and for subscribing, and um, be on the lookout soon in the next coming days for the Lashman Trail, and I'll talk about that when that's up. Anyway, though, I'll see you guys later.